T-shirts are all the rage, I tell you. And um, I love T-shirts. Uh, some of them are vintage, some of them are not vintage. T-shirts are something that, I mean, really just about everybody has or everybody wears. I mean, whether you're getting a T-shirt because it's something that means to you. And basically, when, when I select T-shirts, and probably when most others select T-shirts, uh, a lot of that is it's, it's something that's dear to us. It's a message, perhaps. It may be a team, favorite team, as some of the pictures that I've sent to you. Team, um, some of my favorite teams are there, the sayings. Um, it could be a musical group, could be entertainment, it could be football, uh, in, you know, national football, it could be basketball. I mean, it could be any of those things. I am a recent cancer survivor. I've got lots of cancer T-shirts. I mean, so, you know, it could be anything that you want to communicate uh, with the T-shirt and, you know, you can wear them out. Well, now for the vintage, the T-shirts need to be at least about 20 years old. And essentially, there are about three ways that you can kind of tell if they're, you know, they're vintage. And of course, we, you know, there's sometimes there's copies and stuff like that that flood the marketplace, but they need to be at least 20 years old. So that would be, you know, things from the 90s. And if you got some from the 70s, it uh, would be great. Usually those T-shirts, if you look in the back of them, they will have a freestanding tag. The tag will be loose. If it's not removed, that's one thing you can look at. Uh, a lot of times they're 100% cotton. That's a good thing. Um, and also they will look kind of aged. And the other thing that you can look at is actually the stitching that's on right here around the arms here and also at the bottom that usually needs to be a single row of stitching because they weren't doing the double row like you see in t-shirts now until much, much later. So that's another way you can kind of tell. And though, you know, you have to be a little, you know, loose with some of that because there again, there could be some uh, things that are copies there in the market. And the other thing is, you know, you expect a t-shirt to have been worn. So it should look like it's worn a little bit. Um, one thing, I, you know, I like to do with my t-shirts I think of them as, uh, you know, being my fashion. So I, a lot of times I'll add jewelry to them. Like I've got my earrings and got my necklace and bracelet here. I'll add that to them. Um, you know, I will put them on with uh, maybe a really nice jacket or something. So there are a lot of things you can do to kind of dress T-shirts up. Um, and a lot of times when I'm thrifting for T-shirts, sometimes I'm looking for graphics. I'm looking, you know, I like the um, black and white graphics a lot. I'm looking for colors that I like. Um, so there are a lot of things that you can do. And I usually try to get 100% cotton uh, because that's easy to wash and take care of. So that's a big thing that I do. Um, and then if it's just some message that I want to convey, like I like this one I've got on that says come together. And so this is, you know, something I love because I think we should come together. So there are a lot of things that I think about when I'm thrifting for those. And uh, I'm always looking for them, always looking for them. And they are very popular. I've got lots of competition and you will too. But nevertheless, check it out.